Tamam. Okul, 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 okul. Sudan's people smuggling business is booming, thanks to a year-long spiraling civil war next door in Ethiopia. Ali, a longtime smuggler whose name we've changed at his request, is trafficking more people fleeing Ethiopia's northernmost region to Grai, alongside the regular stream of clients from Somalia. Ali allowed us rare access into his work if we agreed not to reveal details about his tactics or his specific route from refugee camps at the border with Ethiopia to Sudan's capital. Has business picked up for you since the Ethiopian refugees started coming over from Tigray? Wallahi ya akhi bi ahsan tnashat kadir la anu kan waqif ba qabl Tigray do kulli. Yalla fi al fitr yani bikun al alif bikun li hubu. What do you say to your clients as you're loading them in the truck? What directions do you give them to make it through the journey? How do you deal with them? Why do you need the gun? لأنه في نهابين حرامية يعني مجرمين في ناس خطرين يعني بقابلونا بشيلوا الركاب وبشيلوا هم الحوالة المفترض تجينا نحن بشيلوها هم أقول. What makes you good at this job? Why are you so successful? ولا صدق ولا مانا. Really, honesty and integrity you think are the main characteristics of working in the smuggling trade? يعني ما بنشيلون عشان. But the reality is, most of Ali's clients won't make it to Europe. After crossing into Sudan through one of the two main border crossings, many end up in refugee camps far from any major city where they'll be stuck in abysmal conditions before raising enough money to get out. Along the way, they pay middlemen and smugglers while being held in shipping containers. Those who do make it to the capital are taken by car or on foot to Tunisia, or the more common route, on to Libya, where many become entrapped in the slave trade. Those that do try for the ultimate destination, Europe, risk death. More than 1,000 migrants die each year in attempts to cross the Mediterranean. Before Muez Girmay fled to Grai last year, he was an entrepreneur with over $50,000 in assets. But like many Tigrayans, his bank account was frozen by the federal government, making it harder to get out of one of the refugee camps in Sudan, where smugglers like Ali regularly recruit clients. When and why did you first start thinking about leaving the camp? Your family back in Ethiopia, do they support this choice? I do go for him, this high woman. Some mark our hunger, our to meet a low, Tangalataha, wake to more of more to tell you. Sahara is a tail and the lion, Mulamal Tantra Behat, the Sales Bahal Comus, the Sama Amber, Kalia. Germay and other refugees didn't come to Sudan expecting to stay or to go to Europe. Many thought the war would be over in a few months. Now, Sudanese authorities are trying to deal with what Vice News estimates is at least a threefold increase in the number of Ethiopians being smuggled through their country. 
So we're with Eastern Sudan's anti-human trafficking police force, and they got a tip this morning about something they call a storage facility. It's a place where smugglers keep illegal migrants and refugees trying to cross Sudan. So they're heading there now to try to conduct a raid. How often are you doing raids like this these days? كثير العمليات زي دي موجودة. لانه عندنا معلومات نحن قد يكون بعض المنازل بتكون هي مخازن. And what happens to the people who are staying here? بلاغ بعد ما نفتح البلاغ بعد ذاك عبر النيابة عبر وكالة النيابة الناس بتسلم لمعتمدية اللاجئين هي بعد ذاك بتشوف الناس دي وجهتهم وين يا إما قامت بعباد سلمتهم دولة اثيوبيا بعد ذاك في واحدين منهم بيرجعون المعسكرات. أبو تيد أبو تيد بسم الله سجلهم كلهم انتوا كلكم هتمشوا معانا هناك نكمل اجراءاتنا دي في المباحث المركزيه عشان نقدر نغني وضعكم ده انا عارفه انه وضع سليم يا وضع ما سليم تمام So you really don't get the sense that that raid even came close to capturing the people at the top the ones who are actually exploiting these refugees the people who are living there were from the camps they look pretty sick and weak, and the others are Tigrayans who said they were just looking after them. Awat Tesfe was sent back to Umrakuba camp, which he fled earlier this year. أبزوقه في بال دمت تسمعها مستليت من بارو قلة ثم زوج دنازلو سبعة وريدهم زورنا ببتري أبزوقها قلة. Was it the men who were smuggling you, who were beating you and asking you for more money? Oh, لا لا. يا حمسة شيء مس كفلكو. أبت حمسة شيء هم كفلوا اللي خلنا جزي. أو ناس كاب تريبولو. ياو. At that point in the journey, did you regret leaving? Are you hopeful that you might still reach Europe someday? أوروبا خمسة حسوكو ساق علي ميانس ناتي متعبتي كلهم أو خيرهم سرح سرح له تمرتوني ما أرلو يا تسفلني حدود السودانية الأثيوبية حدود مفتوحة فبالتالي بتبقى المزال بتاع التهريب البشر ودخول للسودان مسألة ما صعبة ومسألة سهلة. General Al Nasir Kadir oversees the anti-trafficking unit for the Sudanese National Police. Have you seen a big uptick in the amount of Ethiopians who are being illegally trafficked now? أغلب المهجرين هم عباء من 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 الأثيوبيين يمكن يكون إنه إفرازات المشاكل الموجودة في أثيوبيا زي جابت للسودان حوالي أربعة وأربعين ألف وتسعمية وثمانتاشر من اللاجئين وديل برضو بتحولوا في مرحلة من المراحل لعمليات بتاع تجار بالبشر وبيكونوا ضحايا. Why do you say that most of the 50,000 Ethiopian refugees here in Sudan will likely turn into victims of human trafficking? كرأي شخصي بفتكر إنه الأوضاع في معسكرات اللاجئين 
ما بتخلي اللاجئين ديل حريصين على الجوعات So then what's been the biggest challenge for your teams policing that border with Ethiopia as the amount of Ethiopians being smuggled has increased? لو قلنا عن امكانيات الشرطه السودانيه بنقول انه امكانيات الشرطه السودانيه في حدودها يعني نحن ما عندنا طيارات درون نحن ما عندنا مركبات مجهزه ب بآليات ب باسلحه ثقيله عشان تحارب الاتجار بالبشر ففي عيب كبير جدا جدا بيلغى على الحكومه السودانيه وعلى الشرطه السودانيه فيما يلي عمليه الاتجار بالبشر ما كان يمشي رشت حما انا غير على برغز افتون حما اي تمليس افتون حما اي سلازكن تزغدد حما تصاير كان حادث يا حسبي لي مرض انا ناوي عليه We've seen all these posters around the camp showing people who are dying trying to cross the desert or people who are dying on boats. Do you think that's because there's a lot of people here like you who are trying to leave? Oh, I looked at you with a hastamore with a gun. My name is Benati Botawin Haso Hulus. You see, it's Gabber Kamai Zelasa, Betelia, the Hans and Nurus of Manauru, Nurus of Kamai Zokamai Hassib. Look at Kaidi Zidali, well, I hold in a garden Halis. So for you, even if you were able to go home to Ethiopia, you would still rather try and cross to Libya and cross the ocean. ولا تعدنا خفت تخوينا كن كيد تخيلنا ولا أنس دحر زخانة مخنية ترخيه زخادل المخنية ترخيه وحدس كيد خالي منهم على إن دحر زول المان قد سيرلي. What motivated you to become a smuggler? والله أقرأ بس أنا قروي الواحد يكون يفلس وما عنده حاول يشتغل عشان يحصل وضع. For 25 years, this smuggler has earned a living by illegally moving people in eastern Sudan, picking them up near the border with Ethiopia and taking them to the regional capital Gadarif, sometimes farther. He has six children, and because of a failing economy, few other job prospects. Who are most of your clients? What country do they come from? أكثر شيء صومال والأروم من غلي والأمهرة. دي الناس اللي بيسافروا أكثر وعندهم كل أرجيل أرتري أرتري. And about how much do you charge each person? والله ما يعادل السوداني مئة مليون. Have you seen an increase in your business since the war started in Ethiopia? كتار كميات كبيرة من التجراي. الفريق التجراي ما مروا زي الأرتري ولا زي الصومالي. Multiple smugglers told us that Tigrayans are less desirable. As refugees, they have limited access to funds, unlike most of Nazir's cash-rich clients. But they also make up a large portion of new business. When you're smuggling Tigrayans specifically, are you mainly moving them from the border or from the refugee camps? Can you explain to me step by step the process of getting a refugee from the camp to Khartoum and onward to Libya? الواحد يمر من المعسكر مع الدلال بتاعه ده السمساري توديه لهم تدق تليفون بتاع العربي اللي زي تستلم من القضارف تمشي الخرطوم من الخرطوم في ناس بيشيلوا لليبيا عن طريق الصحراء لحد ليبيا يسلموا في ناس في ليبيا يستلموا ويدخلوا عن طريق الصندوق Do you have a sense for how many refugees you and your colleagues have smuggled over the last 10 months? We've heard some reports in the camp ourselves that the refugees who go on this journey are treated very badly, that they're beaten, they're bribed for more money, Does that sound true to you? فين في ناس في ناس زي ده كده. أنا ما حصل عملنا الكلام ده. لكن في ناس ما ما حد ما حد يستغل الشغل. في ناس يعذبون وشيلوا منهم وحاولوا يضر يضطهدون يستغلوا موقفهم. في ناس زي ده. So you yourself have never mistreated a refugee in your care? ما حصل. أنت تكون شغال بين زهر وفي ناس بيشتغلوا بدون ضمير. الواحد ما يهم القريش اللي هم يهمه يستغل يستغل ضعف الواحد في الإنسان وده كلام ما مقبول. So why do you continue it then? 
حبيبي كان كله ما اشتغلت انا قلت خلاص يعني قدرت اقوم اسيبه كله وحواصل تاني ان شاء الله الشغله دي ما بشتغلها ضميرك بيعني بك في الحته دي يعني كده الواحد يقنع بالنفس